Hi everyone. Good afternoon. Did you have lunch? Buffet or bento? I have a bento. Very delicious. Yes. As we are from a team at GMO Internet and they focus on developing service based on open stock. And my name is Hyunte Park and I'm a manager of this team being involved in many open stock projects. Yeah. yeah, we recently released a public cloud service, it is called Konoa, which was built OpenStack, OpenStack Juno. Yeah. We have always been developing product for Japan market, but this product is targeted for users globally. Yeah. We have developed the virtual server product in the past, but all of them are very simple for users in Japan. And because uh, Kona is uh, targeted for users globally. Uh, we, faced, uh, we faced architecture challenges that we didn't have before. Yeah. One example is multi-region. Yes. I'd like to introduce Kona multi-region structure and our operation know-how. Yeah. Uh, the agenda for today is as, uh, uh, as shown in this slide. And I'd like to introduce first uh, history, history of our service using OpenStack and overview of multi-region and or, our original uh, extension to OpenStack. And my partner, uh, Mr. Coco, is going to explain multi-region uh, supported Keystone domain. Yeah, we had interested in using OpenStack since 2000, 2010 and after a few months of evaluating, our first product was launched in 2012. It is called onamai.com VPS. Yeah, this version is uh, onamai.diablo. Uh, yeah, and this was an innovative product back then, and we are confident that uh, we have contributed to making OpenStock popular in Japan. And with the version upgrade on OpenStock, and we were able to meet customers' demand, and we came up with the first version of Konoha based on Grizzly. Yeah, in this product, uh, we've added a few, a few changes to Neutron and added a private network to Konoha using IPv6 and GRE tunnel. Mm. And there are a private use uh, virtual private server service uh, offered for very low price. Yeah. With what we learned um, from developing our operating, uh, operating VPS service and developed on uh, IAS uh, uh, product, product and specifically for social gaming company called uh, GMO Apply Cloud. Now we developed this product based on uh, Havana, uh, OpenStack Havana. And uh, adding block strategy and object strategy feature uh, using Cinder and Swift. Yeah. Now, uh, let's look how many users we have for each service. Yeah, here is an uh, active uh, physical server, uh, uh, 1,500 uh, over. And now running on virtual machine, the instance is uh, 25,000 over. And created VM is uh, 130,000 over. Yeah, uh, here is uh, simply a uh, corner feature. Uh, based on the uh, feedback we, receive, we received from our users, we decided to upgrade up uh, corner using the last version of OpenStack. And in order for Kona uh, to be accepted by users all over the globe, uh, we need to make sure we have the following feature. Uh, Multi-region, and SSD only, and scalability, and API, and simple and competitive pricing. Yeah. And for the time being, uh, I will focus on talking about multi-region and feature as it is very unique. Uh, supporting multi-region was our first, uh, for, uh, first variety out of all the future uh, in the roadmap. Uh, physical location of the servers mean 
allowed to our users. Yeah, the data center location we chose initially were uh, Tokyo and US San Jose, uh, Singapore. Uh, unfortunately, I, I've never been to Singapore and San Jose. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've successfully built a multi-region architecture open stock environment between three locations. Yeah. Uh, here is how we actuate the multi-region with, uh, within the open stock environment. Uh, we took a multi-region as a structure that can be uh, authenticated globally within just one count. Yeah, OpenStack has capability of sharing case in the, uh, uh, in, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, OpenStack has capability of sharing single key store in the multiple OpenStack environments. Uh, we average this technology to uh, enable multi-region to corner. Uh, in this slide, you can see uh, different OpenStack environment in Tokyo and Singapore. In order to make it multi-region, uh, the two environments need to share just one keystone and make them look as they are one environment as shown in this image. Yeah. Now I'm going to explain the actual process uh, we took to architect multi-region. Uh, the, the, the OS and OpenStack version of corner area shown. Uh, we, were able, we were able to build it just by uh, connecting to Tokyo keystone from all regions and adding, uh, adding each region uh, in the point and point to uh, Tokyo Keystone. Of course, we, uh, uh, we don't need, uh, we didn't have to modify any open stack code. Just install and just uh, change, uh, insert uh, uh, end point to just uh, Tokyo region. Very simple. Yeah, uh, this is the uh, initial design uh, of our multi-region. Uh, oh, sorry. Oops. Yeah. The issue with the, this design was that if anything happened in Tokyo, yes, in Tokyo, oh, sorry. Uh, the issue of this design was uh, that if anything happened in Tokyo, or the or uh, all other region will be affected. Uh, we added we added keystone in every region and changed the structure to prevent this from happening. Yes. Yeah. This is the new structure we came up uh, with we, uh, we to prevent it from uh, each region affecting each other. And this was uh, fairly easy to de uh, deploy, but there was difficulty in main uh, maintenance it due to the uh, infrastructure uh, registration. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we have uh, three restrictions in our infra. Uh, I like to I, I like to uh, in, uh, introduce the three point. Uh, user registration is possible in Japan only and. Two, a VPN performance issue, and, and three, uh, issue on uh, replicating token table. Mm. Uh, yeah, let's talk about it there. Okay. Uh, Listings one, uh, the system that manages both service site and user information only exists in Japan, and therefore user registration was only uh, available in Japan. Uh, if the uh, red uh, our customer base down or uh, all region down. And uh, extension two, uh, we of course use uh, Tenjin network in uh, interface for connection between physical server and switch. Um, but the network was used for database replication within the re uh, region is a VPN of uh, 10 megabyte BPS, so it is not uh, suitable. And uh, restriction three, uh, as, as we uh, identified uh, 10,000 of 
10 sounds of uh, token issued per day, and it, it was clearly that the table capa uh, capacity was not suitable for long distance uh, replication. Although uh, we were able to delete all, all the tokens that was autom autom aut uh, automatically uh, issued by a component, uh, such as glass as neutron, uh, we still we still uh, identificate as tremendous amount of a query. Yeah, just one day, uh, ten thousand uh, uh, token. Yeah, uh, the proce uh, procedure we used for internal in uh, transaction, we were able to reduce the token by setting up token with uh, expiration date of uh, 100 years to each component of a neutron and uh, glass and so on. Okay, here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as for the three uh, restrictions uh, I've mentioned it, uh, we have to give up the initial I uh, idea of a very simple multi-region structure. Uh, we separated the keystone functionality with the uh, database and the pick up, uh, picked out the one that uh, required region to region replication and the uh, one that doesn't. Uh, <coughs> handling data replication that are in three uh, different, uh, different regions with a very narrow bandwidth, uh, we, we knew there was a, a chance of failing to sync the data on uh, uh, this frequency that is caused by a massive amount of tokens. Also, if, if the data replication between the, the region happen to fail, uh, all service in different region will stop and it will be difficult for us to, to match um, the data in the recovery process. Mm. Therefore, we decide to architecture as shown this the next slide. Now future, yeah. We start with a uh, sync token table between regions and switch to just the sync user tenant and table to other region with the Tokyo database being the master DB. Yeah. By doing this, uh, all we have to sync is when there are user the uh, new user restoration, which uh, reduce a tremendous up amount of data, even if it doesn't sync up, uh, properly, users will still be able to use it in Japan, and other regions are not affected by this. The downside, though, is that because token tables are not synced up between the regions, uh, users have to token for each. Uh, each region again. Yeah, I'm going to uh, dive into detail of a structure of Keystone database. As I've, as I've, as I've already mentioned, it, since Kona's usual data, database is only in Tokyo, uh, we can edit our del uh, delete users' information into the Keystone database outside of Tokyo. Therefore, we uh, consequently uh, uh, choose to structure the data sync with Tokyo database being the master with, uh, with uh, other region being slaves. Uh, in, a, in addition to that, uh, the, the decision of uh, using Maria database as the keystone database was already made. We choose to uh, we choose to use uh, Galera cluster to create a, a tremendous database within the region where we can use a table, a, a stable local network. Uh, what you see in this slide, the structure that I, I just talk, talked about. Uh, within the MariaDB server, in uh, in each uh, in each region, uh, PCMaker set up a virtual IP address to one and on particular server and the server with the virtual IP address will uh, process the replication between regions. Uh, when the peacemaker uh, detects 
unusual arc, uh, activity, uh, activity and replace the virtual IP address. Um, MariaDB is stored uh, procedure we learn automatically and the replication structure will be uh, revealed. Um, the, upside, the upside of this structure is that uh, this is full uh, scalable. Uh, by, doing, uh, by using Galera cluster for data sync within uh, each region, it reduces the amount of uh, workload from the master uh, server in Tokyo. Uh, we can uh, disincrease the server role such as uh, updating prompt custom uh, components uh, replication for Western region or replication for, uh, replication for uh, Asia region by adding a node to the cluster. In addition, uh, if we want to learn a replication for regions, regions um, where the uh, network is not uh, suitable from Tokyo, uh, averaging Galera cluster within Singapore region and San Jose region will reduce the workload and enable the replication to run smoothly. Mm. By, uh, by separating uh, tokens and other table, uh, you can scale region like shown <coughs> here. And for example, uh, except, uh, except for Nova Compute, uh, you will create a, a template with a virtual machine uh, instance. Um, then extend this uh, template very, uh, every time you add, edit a new region. As long as you sync a keystone that, uh, table beside the to a token, uh, you can easily add a new region like this. Yeah. Uh, of course, and, and, and also, uh, Kona has a feature that can transfer a uh, temporary image saved in class to other regions. Using uh, using this this feature, our user can our user can uh, easily extend uh, to other region. Yeah, this is a uh, glass image and Tokyo region and Sun region. Uh, transport is very simple. Yes, in future we uh, intend intended to fix uh, all the downside to the structure. We currently have an up upgrade our multi-region structure. Uh, Along all user registration from all region, all region, and all token uh, retrieved in one region can be used in that region. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, I've talked uh, uh, about the multi-region, but not only that, uh, we operate based based on concept of Keystone Domain. And my partner, uh, Mr. Coco, is going to explain uh, Keystone Domain. Um, uh, thanks, Park san uh, Now I'm going to uh, talk about the relationship between the Keystone V2 API domain operation and the region within the OpenStack authentication uh, in Juno. Uh, pak -san has talked about the region structure in multi-region and how, to, how it works in Konoha cloud environment. Uh, we have more to that. And the uh, application to multi-location region structure with domain structure. Uh, application of one domain to one OEM service or, uh, or a product service. I'm going to dive into the detail of these two future. Why? As Park San has mentioned, multi Multiple OpenStack cluster are operating in multiple products within our environment. Primarily, this is very inefficient in terms of cloud operation, and it is uh, of a principle of fundamental business rule 
selection and concentration. Oh, sorry. Uh, starting with the Diablo cluster, we have built many, many OpenStack clusters such as Grizzly and Havana and Juno, and they are still in operating. In terms of Swift cluster, we share multiple uh, OpenStack by deploying Swift proxy per Keystone OS. Uh, however, it takes a lot of time and cost to deploy OpenStack cluster each time. Uh, the cost operate multiple uh, version uh, OpenStack have increased and uh, it is difficult to upgrade or add a new future. Managing mar multiple sites of OpenStack is a headache for us. Uh, dark side. <laughs> 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 I'd like to take a few minutes to go over the definition uh, of each terms. When I say domain, uh, it refers to the Keystone domain. I like, uh, I will talk specially, specifically uh, about the domain that is operated the, uh, with the Keystone V2 API. Uh, I also talk about the DigiNet DNS domain, but that's not all. Location means areas that are physically in the uh, location uh, that are far from each other. In our case, uh, they will be US, and Japan, and Singapore. Region refers to OpenStack region, which means that location and region are not used as the same meanings. Uh, there are cases where uh, we set up multiple uh, regions in one location. Even in that, uh, uh, we've developed a multiple location environment with OpenStack Juno and Launched Konoha. Uh, speaking in infrastructure future, uh, we've developed a future such as uh, DNS and Airbus. Uh, as a keystone future for IaaS authentication infrastructure, uh, we are able to segment by domain user management future. Furthermore, uh, when developed with Juno, we released OpenStack Keystone OS to develop PaaS and SaaS application for customer use. Uh, email, database, uh, shared hosting, and WordPress. Uh, we've, we used Keystone for all of these. So far, we we will always optimize one OpenStack cluster design pattern toward one service. Uh, for example, uh, when you, we need a fast network uh, such as low latency and high bandwidth, uh, we would uh, use appliance hardware such as L3 and L4 load balancer and developed uh, the product based on Linux Bridge. And we used use uh, expensive Cinder storage such as HP Sleeper with active active merge pass implementation with Cinder. Uh, and we provide Nova and Cinder source code uh, active active merge pass, uh, which was great. Uh, in the team of uh, HP Sleeper team. Uh, on the other hand, uh, for the service with below $10 per uh, VM instance, 
we optimize the service pricing by structuring uh, LBAS using Linux LVS or using ZF storage in the based on software defined structure. This is affected mainly by the cost structure of, of the cluster. Here's uh, how we feed over uh, from a concept of one open stack equal one IaaS product. Uh, even if uh, the business condition require multiple op product from operation perspective, uh, it doesn't always mean we want to operate multiple open stack cluster. We've always been uh, thinking about considering some consideration multiple cluster into one. Give the fact that SSD price are now more affordable and use it being able to cut the cost, storage costs uh, by adopting SDS. Uh, the idea uh, of considering multiple open stack cluster become the realistic. Now we need the keystone for multiple domain, but domain future, uh, we only available from V3 API keystone. But because keystone V3 API only support a few client and open stack, few open stack component, this was this wasn't the, what we wanted to use. In addition, because this wasn't any type of bug fix and we wanted to use components what, uh, that, that we haven't been using the past such as trove and mania, we wanted to minimize and the keystone modification. Juno Keystone V2 API don't support domains. Uh, we use and customize the code uh, that, that is in Juno Keystone V3 domain. Uh, then we use domain ID for Juno Keystone V2 API. Uh, what, what you see uh, in the slide uh, is the Actual token information, the re response of JSON. Uh, this is, uh, <laughs> you can see GNC as a domain ID. By doing this, you can use domain ID is token and as long as you write script based on domain ID, thus, we build on top of OpenStack will work just fine. Just one more thing we need to do. Uh, in our IAS case, uh, there is a wrapper API proxy for validation check in public API. In Keystone, you data mine the domain is uh, by the prefix of, of username and tenant name uh, by looking up user ID and tenant ID in, in the Keystone DB. Also for other Nova grants and Cynthia uh, that we want to scope, we add a prefix name. This October we released uh, our second service on same Juno infrastructure. Uh, we added a domain of OEM service for our group company, Zico. Z.com is a brand domain and a OEM partner in Asia uh, that mainly distributes GMO internet group 
companies and uh, service. Three regions, uh, including uh, US, Singapore, Japan. Uh, difficult domain ID are uh, used for each OEM patterns. By adding uh, Zcom product, uh, keystone endpoint related to Zcom domain. Uh, it's separated in to API endpoint and for admin and public API endpoint for user. First and SAS, uh, that we build using Keystone OS designed to look up at the, uh, the admin URL for this default domain. This is because that there is a domain ID in the Keystone DB and with reverse lookup, such as get token with admin. There is no issue with using default domain Keystone. Also, Konoha and Zcom uh, each has wrapper API proxy program, which introduced area in public API, internal API, admin API. This is March domain and March endpoint. Uh, left side is named GNC domain as Konoha uh, service. Uh, right side is named ZJP uh, domain as Zcom service. When user access from internet, connect to wrapper API, and the PHP uh, program. Ah. Hmm? Validation check to verify the value to OpenStack DB. No bash in the neutron keystone. Then after passing through the validation check, you can access real keystone. Other side, ZJP domain, same scheme like this. Here is uh, configuration. Domain configuration is uh, this. Uh, this is uh, uh, ZJP or ZGNC. And region configuration and, uh, and URL template configuration. Uh, component. Uh, Neutron uh, is uh, domain specific item is known, uh, but uh, this service configuration. Uh, Designet DNS, uh, uh, SOA record and NS record uh, depend on uh, domain setting. Zero meter. Um, all item uh, is uh, domain specific. Uh, we collect the domain ID and user uh, items. Swift uh, domain specific is no. Grants has uh, domain specific item is public image. Uh, uh, other domain is have uh, other uh, public image. Nova is uh, uh, flavor. Shinda is from, uh, volume type of each domain. SaaS service, uh, all endpoints. Uh, is domain specific items. Summary. How about domains? Uh, container of four tenants. They are owner and members within the domain. Uh, domain owner can manage users, group, and roles in their domains. Motivation. We, we have uh, these. Uh, domain depend 
density and sharing it. We just one domain, it is no different from an ordinary multi region. This shows the what Paxan explained earlier uh, what we we are their keystone replication and between region. Let's say we set up a domain name JPOEM1 uh, as a service product just for Japan. Uh, I would create, create an API endpoint for that domain. I can make it look like I'm using only the re resource in this domain by changing the API endpoint URL and create it. JPOEM1 will access region TYO1 and OSA1. Uh, in this structure, it is sharing TYO1 and OSA1 DB uh, with just one endpoint. Next, if I add SAS only OEM2, uh, the way I just did, uh, it work look like this. Uh, for example, just DNS and SAS product uh, will uh, be distributed as a service. You can extend product domain like this. In the March location, to build multiple region environment, we have been operating the service. In order to take advantage of the location and region, we apply the concept of domain to make the endpoint and the API wrapper proxy. We use it customized as multiple IIS. In libertaries, I still through uh, that I don't that trying to confirm the future and when doing the correspond to also Keystone V3 API grants and Swift March domain installation of Keystone might be ever. However, such as grants and Swift and Nova, how to make take advantage of such as uh, the concept of merge domain in the service to you to be used we can not use and are not implemented using them okay thanks what it is One more, one more thing. Uh, here is our corner booth. Please come here. Uh, there is a uh, real corner character. You can check there. Here. Oh, oops. Oops. Okay, here. There is a real corner character. Very beauty. beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Today, no girl. <laughs> And there is uh, someone a uh, question. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.